In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite ways to defend things like gun bunch, bunch tight end, compressed sets in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my YouTube channel is focused on helping people become better Madden players in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button right now at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's going to allow you to know whenever we release new videos that can help you both on offensively as well as defensively. Um, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now in today's video, we're going to be breaking down a defense, a little excerpt from my 335 wide defensive ebook. If you want to get the complete defense, the exact defense that I run in money games, in my opinion, it's been the best defense all season long. We've been running it since June of 2020, so almost a full year in this defense. That 335 wide defense is available for you for literally just $15 in the description so if you want to get the best defense in the game it's available in the description right now but anyways what we're going to be sharing with you is a way that you can really do a good job um, at defending a lot of different concepts out of the gun bunch so we're going to go over a couple of things here in this video we're going to be going over the mesh post we're going to be going over um, the jets dig we're going to be going over the the smash return as well as some other concepts as well like z spot and, and we're going to start with z spot because it's probably the most popular play that people use out of the gun bunch and really quickly you want to follow these specific adjustments we're going to put our zone drops here we're going to be putting our curl flats on 10 yards we're going to put our flats on 30 yards and we're going to put our hook curls on five yards okay that's the most important thing that we can do and then everything else as you can see here's my coaching adjustments now for the three three i don't have the three three five normal in this playbook here but if i was running this i would definitely be using the three three five normal audibly into the three three five wide so that i can get better personnel on the field but the play we're going to be going over is probably my favorite play in the game right now defensively and that's this cover four show two now the setup is really really simple all we're going to do is we're going to press coverage and then this is the this is the critical coaching point here. We're going to be putting both our both of our cornerbacks into cloud flats. Okay, both of our corners are going into cloud flats, as you can see right here. And then the last, there's only a couple other adjustments that we really need to make. We're going to use this middle linebacker here. So to, to mimic this, I'm just going to kind of put him on a spy, and then I'm going to click off of him. Um, but we're just going to use our. We're actually I'll probably just put him on like a, a middle third. Okay. Just to kind of, uh, I shouldn't do that actually. <laughs> I'm gonna put him on a mid read. Um, so just to mimic my user, I'm gonna use this guy. From there, all we're going to do is we're gonna man up the circle receiver with this outside linebacker right here. This is gonna help us a lot with the three wide receivers. Anytime you're facing three wide receivers, you need to be manning up at least one of those receivers on that side. And then the last step that we're gonna take here is we're just going to basically throw a three rack onto the field here. Uh, as you can see and what I like to do is I mean you can do different options here but I like to spread my line and then three wreck the bunch side guy it's just gonna help with like hitches and things like that if you want to three wreck the other side you can um, because you know it, it just depends on what side you want to use her so if you want to use her the left side of the field then I would three wreck the right side guy if you want to use the right side of the field then you three wreck but basically you're gonna drop into the void so you see like right here that's where I'm gonna go and then this guy's gonna go over here as you can see okay this is basically the defense and in my opinion this is literally the best way to stop gun bunch in the game what you're gonna notice is that this corner route to the R1 receiver is going to absolutely be taken away um, as you can see if they can complete it it's more than likely uh, it's actually very possible that they can complete it sometimes to the outside but what's going to happen as a result of them completing it is they are going to get basically stuck um, and they're going to have to basically you know essentially they're going to have a hard time catching this ball in balance and i'll show it to you again here you're going to see that's more of what we're looking for you see that cloud flat do a really nice job of being able to take that away so the beauty of this is this is going to take away a lot of the corner route type of concepts that you're that you've probably witnessed a lot of people running um, especially if you use and take advantage of your man-to-man -man coverage so you see here i mean this is basically what the defense looks like so i'm going to jump over here really quickly actually i'll show you z spot one more time and basically again you're just using the middle of the field but you see that r1 receiver here 
Um, you see how he can't get his feet down. It's almost impossible for them to be able to get their feet down on that. And they're actually, you know, in this in this game right here, or in this in this edition practice mode, he's actually getting a lot of really good um, animations. You know, he's getting a lot of good separation. Most of the time, that's not going to happen. Um, most of the time, he's going to run a little bit more, um, especially if they use like motion out to help with spacing and things like that. That R1 receiver is not, and that's more of what we're looking at right here. This is what we're just trying to show you. That's what we're supposed to be seeing right there. Not the aggressive catch, but obviously the defense was in position uh, to be able to make a play. Now you might be saying, well, what if they go to something like, like the play Jets dig? Um, is, that, is actually a really good example. So Jets dig, in my opinion, would be one of the harder plays to stop from this. Just because of the, the angle of the corner route or of the street here but what you'll see is this r1 receiver is going to get matched vertically by that uh, by that quarter you see there there's no window to be able to throw that that quarter is going to match the vertical route right up the seam and you might be saying well what if they did something like they for example like they streak the tight end okay if they streak the tight end um, that's going to be their best chance and let me show you what that's going to look like. So if I streak the tight end out of the play Jets dig, what should happen is the inside quarters from both sides should match it there, as you see right there. It's still going to take that. You, you see that we're still taking the uh, fade route out of the out of the option. Now, let me show you the one vulnerability to this, um, at least so far from what I've seen. And that's whenever they streak the tight end out of the Jets dig, if they streak that tight end, if they wait on it long enough, you should see here that, as you see there, they'll choose one, but they won't always choose both. As you can see, that's where it can get kind of dicey, okay? That's where it can get kind of dicey. And so a solution, a simple solution to that is to simply deep half um, that outside quarter or to simply man up. Um, if you don't want to man up circle, um, you can obviously man up the tight end as well if you wanted to do something like that. Um, I, I personally just, if I see the tight end go vertical, that's kind of my cue that I need to run vertical, okay? But as long as there's only one vertical route, you're gonna do a pretty good job against everything that they have to offer. As you see, the mesh concept is taken away. Um, you know, it, they're gonna have to send four to one side vertically. Um, if you see anyone motioned, so for example, let's say that they motion the R1 receiver, but you have the circle receiver manned up. So let's say they're going to like a mesh post tile setup and they're gonna do something like this motion over snap. All you're gonna do is as soon as you see him go in motion, you're gonna man up onto him, okay? You're gonna man up onto him. You can only do this if you come out in three, three, five wide. But what you'll see also is that 10 yard curl flat should do a decent job at coming back onto that, onto that as long as you have your zone drop set properly. So all in all, this defense is really, it's actually really safe um, against this. Like I said, the best chance they have is running something like this Jets dig because sometimes if that R1 receiver doesn't get off the jam, he does have a, a slight window. But as you can see, I mean, that, that quarter does recover. Um, you know, he does, he does certainly recover. Now, another thing that you could do out of this is you could, um, because of the lack of routes that really threaten that 25 to 30 yard area that comes from the left side of the field you could um you could basically keep this guy here uh what i would simply do is i would probably go ahead and you know again just do something with this this corner here so it may look something like putting him into an outside third or a deep half or even leaving him in his quarter zone but you can kind of move this guy around a little bit and this is going to help with your vertical protection um, and so what you'll see is a concept like jets dig if they were to run that same concept you're gonna you're not going to see the same amount of success as you can see here um, that guy's not going to be able to to be in that in that opportune area okay and so what you can basically do as a result is you could create essentially a roll coverage where you know basically it's a cover it's kind of like a cover three cloud but you're using the outside uh, outside quarter as a result so, so it looks something you know basically like this right here and now if I try to do that same route combination you're gonna see that I'm gonna have a lot of trouble because that now they're gonna match you know really 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 well across the board and then you just have to deal with that little you know square in route but all in all guys this is 
probably the easiest way to defend the gun bunch uh, in the game right now. It's very easily adaptable. It's what I would recommend. Uh, it gives me the most problems whenever I run gun bunch, so I would recommend trying this defense out. This is a very little unique kind of coverage defense that you can create out of this. So if you want to get the full defensive ebook that's available for just 15 bucks, it goes into even more detail on this defense as well as other defenses that you can use to not only stop the gun bunch, but be able to stop you know pretty much any offense in the game right now. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number will be available in the description.